Hello everybody, this is Simon with Let's Play Mega Man Quintum. Today we're gonna take on the final star droid on... Um, I actually don't know where Terra actually is supposed to be at the moment. Is it the Earth? But the starry sky is just somewhere else. I don't know. Did we actually destroy space stations? I don't know. This plot might not be perfectly told. I don't care. It's functional. What was your plan? A world for all robots. How quaint. I didn't know about that. Who is your master? Intrigue. Back to business. Let's hustle. Terra is a relatively tough boss with the one problem that you can simply damage raise him, which is a little unfortunate. He has two attacks, which is the Spark Chaser, which we're gonna acquire later on, which you can see here, which is also, which, <clears throat> really fucking awesome, as you can imagine. He also can stop you in place, which guarantees a hit. And well, that's it. As you can see, even though I relatively consistently got hit by him and will continue to do so while waiting for his final attack, which you kind of have to approach him for, um, I could have won already. But he has a weakness, cleverly disguised in the floor, and yes, this is the first time I've actually hit something with Deep Digger. There might be one more opportunity for it, but don't seriously count on it, it is really just a utility weapon. And but this also means that it's not in the normal weakness chain just because it's not lying around anywhere else and this is the last time we're fighting Terra, so kind of a niche weapon, let's say. I mean, Mega Man 1 at least had the decency to screw around a few blocks for Gutsman's weapon to use all in all the levels, more or less, even in his own, come to think of it. So yeah, Spark Chaser. Uh, it is really good because it homes and deals a shitload of damage, but that's kind of it, it's nothing special, it's just, well, very good. This might as well be the master password, because I got everything except for 999 p-chips, but eh. Nice pattern recognition Mega Man, of course it's always 8 bosses and 1 Mega Man killer, but that, what might that suggest following a pattern, you know? Hmm... Well, it might have been Wily all along. I feel like we're repeating ourselves, but there is actually a twist on that later on. We're going to see, we're going to see. For now, let's revel in the fact that Wily has built the motherfucking Death Star. Is this awesome or what? And yes, he kind of obliterated whatever planet we were standing on. So, hopefully it was not the Earth. Still not sure about this. Please don't ask me why this scene is red, because the following level will not be a little quirk of the uh, Super Game Boy, I think. So yeah, this is actually a level, and we can play this, contrary to the first time we flew into space. And this is actually pretty awesome! I really like it! It doesn't uh, continue for too long, though it does have a few problems with them, I will uh, get to that later on. And uh, at first uh, it gives you ample time to get used to the controls and how the um, flying in space with rush handles. It is fine. And also to try it your gun against things that it doesn't work against, but eh, details. And now finally we can use the gun actually to something uh, of, like a purpose. And we have to kill quite a few of these things, um, which I don't know, metals without helmets but with space helmets? <laughs> I actually don't care. So, um, this is my problem with the length of this stage, because this just kind of goes on for a while. Um, you get no opportunities to heal, as far as I know these things don't drop anything, so it is kind of an endurance gauntlet from start to finish, because this stage also doesn't have a checkpoint. I don't think that that is too bad, but it can get a little grating for one other reason. In general, gameplay at design-wise and gameplay-wise, this is nothing to write home about, but uh, I really like that it's there. Uh, it just doesn't hurt me much, I think, and um, it's just awesome getting to play this. And so we approach the Death Star, and yes, these are always in the same pattern, which explains my precognition skills. Um, kind of requires you to get hit or get lucky, though. This is also something I don't like, and then you have to start over and do the fight again, which is kind of bad, but it, again, this is still not that long, it's not, not really that bad, in my opinion. So, boss fight! Awesome! Still the same music though, I, by this point it's getting a little grating, I think it's not that fitting to it. I'm complaining, it's, it's really good, it's really good. Um, 
His boss fight is also um, absolutely easy. Uh, I will not get hit by these spoilers even though I'm pretty bad at boss fights normally because the pattern is incredibly simple. Um, you, after this attack you will have seen it all and uh, you have to shoot the gun, yes, and it shoots the same awesome laser as before, yes, but it's just, it's more for show, and it's more of an extended cutscene, but again, I much prefer this to just having the flight and the shooting animated, because, well, it's, it's just nice, it's just nice, it gives you something to do, and this is really not something that the Mega Man games so far we've seen have done all that much, and um, I think the Game Boy games really excel at this. It's, it's not even an experiment, I wouldn't call it that, and I wouldn't call it a bold choice. It's um, as easy as it is, it is just very nice to have, and I really wonder why we don't see this more often. But yeah, next time, final level time! Looking forward to it, thank you very much for your attention!